now in this video we're going to switch two of these uh, higher wattage LEDs right there. They're one watt, not terribly high, but uh, high enough where uh, when there's two of them, I don't really want to use the TO92 package transistor like the 2N2222 or the 2N2907. And so we're using a TO92 package transistor right here, which you can attach a heat sink to. That's a heat sink symbol, but I did not attach it because we're not switching enough current where I think we actually need one. And also it has some problems uh, that I'll uh, mention coming up if, if we have one on there. So in any case, there you can see, I press the button, they switch. And uh, the reason why we would do this, they're in parallel. They're wired exactly the same. There you can see that uh, when I removed the uh, one that's a little bit taller right there, it didn't get as bright on the paper down there. If I remove this one right there again, you can see it's not as bright. So each one of these is probably producing close to the exact same amount of light. Um, but uh, when they're both shining light on there, you get quite a bit more light on whatever you're lighting up than one of them would have gave by themselves. So it's pretty useful to put lights in parallel like this. And zooming into the schematic, we'll take a closer look at the circuit. So we're using a PNP bipolar junction transistor. So the arrow is, uh, the emitter is on the higher side there, arrow pointing its way down towards that ground right there. But it's pointing into the transistor instead of out, like it is with the NPN. And then it points out to ground with the NPN. So the same basic principles, but polarities are opposite. Now, we are switching a somewhat high wattage load here for a smaller transistor in the TO92 package. So we got the TO220 package transistor there. We're using the TIP32C, so that's the PNP transistor. Earlier video, we made an NPN version of this circuit with the TIP31C. So they're complementary, they can handle the same amount of current and they got the same amount of gain and everything for the most part. Um, but one N NPN and the other is PNP. So they have opposite uh, chemistries. Current flows the opposite way. Now I didn't add a heat sink. Here's uh, one reason. We'll look at the pin layout. Uh, when you're looking at the front, you got the plastic there. The uh, metal tab is, shows in the back. You have the base on the left, the collector in the middle, and the emitter to the right. The tab that helps dissipate heat, and you can add a heat sink to dissipate even better, is the collector as well. It's the same connection right there. So one problem I had in the earlier video was uh, the collector uh, touched, that was the NPN though, so polarities are opposite, but it uh, touched the base. And there you can see when you uh, close the switch there, you got ground, you got ground over here. So the uh, base and the collector, if they touch each other, they have the same voltage. That voltage can get through the uh, load right there and turn the transistor on, even though you're not giving that signal to the base. So that was a problem I had in the earlier video. So I didn't add the heat sink there to avoid that again, but uh, we should be able to dissipate plenty of heat. So that shouldn't be a problem because um, this can handle three amps uh, maximum uh, through the collector. And we're only putting about uh, a little less than 500 milliamps. It would be close to uh, 500 milliamps if things were perfect. So in any case, we will uh, show how that translate to the board right here. So. As we said before, this is the base on the left, collector in the middle, and the emitter on the right. Emitter goes to the positive uh, supply, so there you can see that we've got that. And then the collector is in the middle. We're going to put our load there, and uh, we'll plug it in. You can see the bottom pin goes to, the bottom pin is the base. It's going to this resistor, which is going to the negative supply. Now, when it comes to the LEDs, each one of these, these modules has its own protective resistor, as I drew in the schematic. And uh, so we can plug that one in there. This one also has its own resistor. Um, if you use a single resistor to protect uh, parallel LEDs, all of that current that goes through the resistor might go through just one of the LEDs and ignore the other. And that might be too much uh, current for that lone LED. Uh, but these modules, each LED already has its own resistor, so you don't have to worry about that. And there you can see that uh, they lit up right there. So, in any case, we have for higher current demands than uh, most circuits, a higher wattage 
transistor that we could use here. Probably want a heat sink for uh, most circuits, but this one we can get away without it. So we're not going to worry about it. And if you want to see those currents, we can see them with the power supply. So the transistor appears to uh, drop some uh, voltage. There we go. We actually got close to 500 milliamps of current. I wasn't getting that much uh, earlier. And uh, so maybe when things warm up, they uh, it works uh, better. But uh, there you can see that uh, this is more than half of what we had with the two of them. But those uh, numbers also include the current that's going through the emitter and base, which is close to 13 milliamps of current. When we're using a 330 ohm uh, resistor right there, as you can see. So that was part of the current of those other two values. So in any case, this video went on uh, too long probably, so I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen, and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.